We've got salty tears, folks, coming out of Arkansas from the libs sitting there listening to this Senate hearing. The Senate in Arkansas has spoken, and I will give you the results of that at the end of the video. That's probably the best part of this whole video, with the exception of the response from the crowd. This was a great um, eye-opener for anybody that doesn't know what's going on. Um, in Arkansas, there is a pharmacist, over a transgender pharmacist over there in Arkansas, and she could not believe she was asked this very question. Kind of reminded me of Katanji Brown Jackson when they asked her if she could give us the definition of a one. Couldn't do it. Remember that, folks? Well, this is kind of along the same line of questioning. And there's a few things that are said in this statement that I will stop the video for and just point out my point of view as well, give my opine and opinion about um, what they're trying to do to this with this um, whole conversation. You said that you're a trans woman. I trans female, yes, ma'am, sir. Do you have a penis? <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. You're the one. You're the one that brought that into the discussion. I you're the one never that said anything about genitalia. Oh, it's yeah. everything to do okay. with genitalia. I don't know what my rights are audience. right now. I'm are a health professional, other, a doctor. Please treat me as such. Next okay. question, please. Senator McKee, that you asked my friend if she had a penis, and I would just like to tell you that even if you have a penis, it doesn't mean that you have honor or that you're a man. Listen, Not I talked really. to a 10-year-old girl back in the fall, and you know where she got her idea to have one of these surgeries? Off of TikTok. Because the Chinese were showing this little girl on TikTok who said... All right, let me stop him right there, folks. China owned TikTok through a company called ByteDance. And I believe the Chinese government is definitely involved in a lot of the things that go on on TikTok. But not everybody that goes on TikTok and posts a video is Chinese or from the Chinese government. So his um, trying to play the blame game, it's a ch somehow it's the CCP's fault that um, this girl's mine went this direction or this this child i'll just leave it at that for pronoun's sake but um i thought this was an interesting video um there's a couple of times in this video this guy and uh, and this lady just seem to be crazy in my opinion um i'm gonna throw out a word i would call it mutilation and i'll leave it at that uh but um i thought this was definitely an interesting uh video that went viral as of thursday arkansas Judiciary Committee in the Senate passed Bill 199, and I'll get into the results of that at the end of the video, so stick around. This guy is trying to blame the Chinese for this ideology, and the fact of the matter is, it's not the Chinese ideology, and it's not TikTok's fault. It's the fault of the mainstream media, Disney, woke government, Planned Parenthood, and any of these other um, woke entities including ngos that think it is proper to promote just um i would call it trans confusionism that's my term for it but let's go ahead and get back into the video i just had to call this guy out as pointing the finger at the chinese you know i want to point the finger at the chinese too for a lot of things but i think most of our problem and issues we have with this particular topic are homegrown right here from our own country from people like this guy here and this lady here who didn't like the question this has changed my life and focus on the implications on the mental health of trans and non-binary youth one part of this bill stipulates that a trans minor must have no other mental health concerns this alone would make nearly all trans youth ineligible for any gender related care two of these individuals have made unsuccessful attempts at their own suicide over the course of this past month each one of these expressed to me that this conversation being had by our legislature and these laws that are trying to be passed by you guys is directly affecting their mental health and their concerns that so the laws are affecting these people's mental health it's not that these folks have any mental issues of course uh, because they're a little um having a little bit of an identity crisis i guess that's the best way to put that but i just i think it's funny how they try to spin things 
Matter of fact, there's a ton of salty tears on Twitter right now that are just off the chain. Twitter is on fire for the last two days behind this conversation. The Democratic Party of Arkansas is mad, and they're calling it transphobia and all kinds of things. I've only got one word for it. I would call it um, mutilation is is my terminology for it. Maybe it's not proper, but uh, just my opinion, that's what's really going on. And I really hate to see all these um, people, organizations, claiming to be looking out for the youth while they push their ideology down everyone's throat, especially the children. Just my opinion, folks. But um, I do think this stuff needs to be exposed. I think these crazy folks need to be pointed out. Nothing against anybody who has any um, gender issues. But um, I would definitely say that the problem is definitely not China's fault. And um, more than anybody, I would blame the woke media, woke Hollywood, and anybody that promotes this woke, uh, confusionistic state of mind to all the young people, maybe even including some of those videos over on the TikTok. But um, this is a homegrown problem, uh, definitely right here in America. And I believe the biggest part of this issue is just because they're trying to mainstream the whole conversation to make it more acceptable for everybody to accept everybody, whether you think you're a unicorn or a rabbit. doesn't really matter at this point. They think they have the right to pretend to be somebody they're not in a lot of situations. Maybe some of it is necessary. I don't know. I can't speak for each individual person that is going through this um, turmoil in their head, I guess as to uh, trying to figure out who they are, who they want to be. I would just say it's kind of like you were when you were in high school, probably just having an identity crisis and something they may get over in the end. Now, there is a full video to this that I have yet to be able to find on the Internet, but I know it's out there. Anybody that finds the full link to this, uh, the link to this full video, I'd appreciate it down in the comment section because there's more to this story than what I'm telling you because I've read some of the transcripts and I would like to find the rest of that video. Somebody want to help me out? That'd be great. Let me go ahead and get into the rest of this. That the state that they were born in, born and raised in, that they must consider having to run away with their family and seek to find other places that can help them live their lives as themselves. Through gender affirming care that these teenagers receive or that they have been able to receive in the past. Beyond that, it just lets them know that they are loved and affirmed for who they are. Wow. With this bill, it won't affect 99% of our Kansans or more, 99.9. .9. But the people who it does affect, the message they receive from this is that the state they live in hate them. That's the so, message they receive from this. You said that you're a trans woman. I trans female, yes, ma'am, sir. Do you have a penis? <laughs> Had to do that one again, folks. I apologize. I just thought it was kind of comical. And the people on Twitter, they don't think it's funny. The whole trans community on Twitter has got, I don't know how many thousands and thousands of tweets just behind these, this particular video alone. Now, these folks, as far as I see, this lady here is a Arkansas pharmacist and a uh, medical professional. And, and I use that term lightly. And uh, she definitely has got a problem with um, the Senate bill that just passed. The Senate bill is, uh, in my opinion, to protect the youth. It says the Democratic Party of Arkansas, with their salty tears, addressed the viral exchange on Twitter saying that the Republicans are not hiding their transphobia. A lot of these things that are going on with uh, in the medical community, uh, in Hollywood and things, trying to promote these uh, these blockers, these pills, uh, these pills, these blockers, these uh, surgeries, uh, gender affirming care. It actually almost sounds like a decent term, but when you actually break it down and see what's really going on, it sounds like Planned Parenthood and their lobbyists and a whole lot of woke corporations are on board with trying to rob the youth of their own identity. And they're trying to use a couple of particular cases to push their. Uh, their narrative says so the following exchange Republican lawmakers passed S after the following exchange Republican lawmakers in Arkansas 
passed Senate Bill 199 through the Arkansas State Senate Judicial Committee. Now, I can't get into the sticks with getting into the weeds too much on this because every individual case is different. Now, like I said, there is a ton of stuff on this about about uh, how the Democrats are throwing a fit. Got salty tears all over Twitter about it. the Democratic Party of Arkansas is not happy. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at that. Anytime we get salty tears from a Democrat, it's probably a good thing for the people. It says the Democrat says uh, the Democratic Party of Arkansas. Replying to Arkansas at Arkansas Dems with Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders running a show at the state capitol. We only expect more attacks on the trans community in Arkansas. Tell me what you think in the comment section below about this uh, crazy question asked of this lady who has um, had nine kinds of excuses in the full version video of this as to why it is they have the right to not just uh, assist but to promote this uh, gender affirming care it almost sounds like a uh, a compassionate uh, disclaimer gender affirming care i've got another terminology for it but i'll leave that one alone like subscribe and share devoted patriots and tell me what you think about this uh hot topic over on twitter today